Hey, this is Shanita, um, and today what I want to talk to you about is persevering and being persistent and never giving up despite difficulties, problems, and obstacles because all these shall pass. So what does perseverance mean? It means conviction, persistence, and courage in face of obstacles. Above all, it means never stopping, never giving up, and never giving in until what you want is your reality. In life, there will be some difficulties, problems, or unpleasant situations, like a lot of things that's going on now. Depending on one's faith and attitude, some people will have more than others. But if you persist and never give up, you will always find a way to resolve these difficulties. Put God first. The solutions to your problems will show up. Face the obstacles that confront you but don't dwell on them. Maintain a healthy perspective, especially when the pressure mounts. If you can't see yourself out of an immediate dilemma, remove yourself for now and give yourself room to breathe. Use the power of your faith and imagination to help solve your problems. Faith plus imagination are powerful tools. Pray and meditate on your problems, then release, let go, let flow, let God take care of the details. Trust the process. Be still. Trust God after you have turned over your problems. Whatever you do, do not give into appearances no matter what. If you persist, you will receive the solution to your problem or problems. However, you must be consistent and persistent in focusing on the solution rather than the problem if you want to see a change in your life. I'm asking you regardless of your problem or your situation, persevere and assume and imagine that you already have that solution no matter how it may appear today tomorrow the next week the next day keep believing imagining assuming that your problems your obstacles have already been solved keep claiming I am happy because now I have the solution to my problem I'm happy because everything is okay if you focus on your problem being solved it shall be so for you Think from the end. That is what you want to see manifested. If you keep thinking of the problem and see no solution, you will get stuck like Lot's wife. Start now to actively, consistently, persistently use the power of your imagination to see your obstacles already removed. Be still and listen to the wisdom of God within you. When you do that, you will be directed as to the next steps easily and effortlessly. Something unexpected will show up um, in answer to your prayers. Someone will come to your rescue. You know how it happens. It's miraculous. There are numerous ways for the solution to show up for you. Don't try to control how the outcome should be. Pray and let God take control and let go. Take time to be still and listen to your inner wisdom. When you believe, and really believe, and really let go, you will be provided with the proof by the manifestations of the solution. In the book of Psalms, you are told to commune with your own self. Sit quietly, be at peace with yourself, and suddenly thoughts will flow to you with, from within you from God. Man's enemies that you know, and best friends, by the way, um, are all in his mind. They're all within him or her. If you don't know this you won't realize that you are your best friend depending on your inner talking or your worst enemies what are you telling yourself about your situation all day long think about that see my videos on inner conversation and your powerful inner talking ask yourself what would it feel like if my problem was solved what would i be like what would it be like i mean you know how would you act dare to persist in that assumption that it is already done. I cannot emphasize enough not to give into appearances. Just be persistent and persevere. Keep assuming, believing, and imagining, and feeling, and speaking that your problem is already solved. Your difficulty obstacles have already been removed until that which is assumed is objectively realized. Fall asleep assuming um, that it's already done. Wake up believing it's already done, you know what I mean? Be awake, aware, and conscious. It's important that you do that. Because when you are AAC, you will consciously, on purpose, 
Keep assuming, imagining, feeling, and speaking the results that you want and tell them manifest for you. You have to believe in the power of God and the power of yourself. Take my word, test it for yourself, it works. Keep in mind that you are always talking to yourself. You tell yourself positive or negative things all day long. So what are you telling yourself about your situation or your difficulty? Think about that. Do you realize that you are causing all the blows and the, um, the pains, the heartaches, the happiness, the prosperity, the joy? Everything that's happening is between your ears, right here in your mind. So don't give up. Keep believing, thinking, assuming. And I know sometimes it's hard, but keep doing it, keep doing it. You know, when you realize the power of your inner conversation and you are awake, aware, and conscious, therefore you can control your inner dialogue, you will bring a wonderful, bring about a wonderful change in your life. Keep being persistent in spite of obstacles and difficulties. Because I know they too shall pass if you're persistent. Persistent. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, it is. This is Shanita. I'm author of How to Have This and That. And my books are sold on Amazon. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. Subscribe to my channel below for more inspiration. Contact me for speaking engagements and workshops and any topic you may want us to discuss. Follow me on social media. Shanita V. Cummings Lewis. Health, wealth, time, freedom. You can find them on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Thank you for being a part of my world where everything and all things are possible. Thank you. Be awake, aware, and conscious. Yes, you can have this 